Hi, my name is Mark Simmons, and I am with JM PC Experts here to teach you how to use your Xbox controller, Xbox 360 controller, with a Windows computer or a Windows laptop. And yes, it is possible. Uh, we decided to make this video um, because there's been some people that have said that it's not possible. And it's really easy. With a wired controller, you don't need any special adapters. It, you download the driver, you plug in your controller, and play away. Just go to, you can click on the links below, or you can go straight to Microsoft. Um, you can either go to products or downloads. Um, we're going to go to products. And we're going to go to Xbox. And then you can go to the, the controllers and this is where you're going to be. There's going to be overview details and support. You want support. Uh, of course, if you have the wired controller, you would click on this one. Um, and then, depending on your operating system. Now, they haven't released the driver for Windows 8, um, but I have checked to make sure the Windows 7 driver works for Windows 8. Um, and of course, if you got XP 64 bit or XP Service Pack 2 or Service Pack 3, then you would choose this one. And of course, uh, Yucky Old Vista has a driver as well. Um, and then you just click, you'll see where it says uh, EXE. This is the driver you need so that Windows will recognize that that's an Xbox controller. You click download. Um, and of course, I've already, I've already downloaded it here. And if you have the wireless, then you would download the driver, but to make the wireless work, you would need an adapter, and I think it's about $16. Um, I actually have a link below. You can click to purchase one. Now, this is not uh, a Microsoft adapter, but yes, it does work, and yes, we guarantee it'll work provided you install the driver first. And of course, if you need any help, don't hesitate to ask us. We're here to help. Um, but of course, then you would choose your operating system just like with the wired. Um, and then make sure that if you have 32 bit, you select 32 bit. There is a difference. And if you're not sure, um, you can just go to start control panel. And this is the same way with XP or Vista or Windows 7. Um, then you want to go to system. And it'll tell you right here, system type 64-bit operating system. And, it, you know, of course, if you had 32-bit, it would say 32-bit. Um, now, if you're running Windows, if you're running Windows 8, you have to, unless you've added the start button, you'll need to take your cursor all the way to the top right and you'll get that menu and you go in the settings and then control panel um, another thing too is your control panel may look different than mine the reason being is I have changed it to small icons um, more than likely you are category and then of course you would go to system and security and system and then you get to the same page. Uh, I myself, I just, I like the small icons, or you can choose large too, but I like the small. Uh, and of course, if you want to change that, you just click and then the small icons. Uh, now, we have downloaded the driver. Before we plug in the controller, we're going to click it. I'm using Google Chrome. If you're using Firefox or an Explorer, you'll have to double click it. Run. And soon I will be making another video where I actually take the video camera and show you um, evidence that I'm using this. And it actually surprises me the amount of people that say that this is not possible. Um, if anybody knows anything about us, we make everything possible. 
and we teach you how to make it possible. And then while this is installing, you can change the controller settings inside your game, um, but you can also do it in the control panel. Um, I'll tell you that while we're waiting. Uh, and I, actually, I'm going to go over um, once this is installed and we plug it in. I'm going to go over the control panel settings as well. And again, during this, if you have any problems, do not hesitate to. Either contact me on YouTube, Facebook, email, telephone, because whether it's this or something else, we're always here for you. You have successfully installed the Microsoft Xbox 360 accessory software. Press the guide button to show the status of your device, except when you are playing a game in full screen mode. And then you don't really need to register online. Just click finish. And that is it, my friends. Now we are going to plug in the controller. And I have a wired GameStop Xbox controller. Whether you have the Microsoft mm -hmm. controller, the GameStop, um, I'm not a big gamer, so I can't remember the name of the one company. Mad Cats, that's it. Um, if it doesn't matter what controller you have, this will work. And uh, let me show you. It's you see right here where it's installing. We can click that, and it's going to tell us the status. Um, now, something I've noticed is sometimes, um, and you can see Gamepad for Xbox 360. Uh, but it's checking Windows Windows Update now. A couple of times I have done this and I've actually had to go into the control panel and update the driver that way. Um, and and I'll, I'll go over that mm -hmm. here um, in a little bit as well. And you can see that that's ready to use. It's installed. Now it's installing uh, the controller drivers, like so. It's recognized it um, and installed part of it. I believe this one actually takes two drivers. And all it takes is just a little bit of patience. And as you can see, this is an easy process. Simply put, we downloaded a driver, we're installing the driver, and then we plugged in the controller, and I'm already getting a green light on my controller. Um, but it's just got to finish installing this other part. It's that easy. And actually, uh, we did this on my son's laptop uh, just the other day because he wanted to play. We had Halo Combat Evolved, an older Halo game, and he was playing it. But he wanted a controller, and I said, well, just plug in the Xbox controller. And he said, oh, that won't work. And so, uh, you know, I already had the driver installed when I built the laptop for him. And he plugged the controller in, and away he went. And he actually told some of his friends at school, and they're like, that's not possible. And it's, thus, this is why I'm making the video. For all you non-believers. <laughs> Okay, now we can close this. We're getting a green light on the Xbox controller. And now I just have to remember how I found it before, I believe. Oh, bear with me for just a second. And da -da 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 -da. Maybe, uh, you know what, it's probably devices and printers. I was probably thinking of XP. Okay, we can see that the Xbox controller is right here, although it looks kind of funny. Um, double click on it. Uh, 
game controller. What I did is I right clicked on it and game controller, game controller settings. And as you can see, you can create a shortcut to or troubleshoot and properties. Uh, status okay, and we then we can go to properties um, and we can calibrate it, test it, um, and so forth. And if you go to change any of these settings and doesn't seem to work right, then just click on reset, reset to default. And of course, you can calibrate it. Uh, really, with the Xbox controller, you don't need to calibrate it, but uh, you know it wouldn't hurt. It just take you through the steps. You have to move, and you'll have to hit the buttons, blah blah blah, and do all that. And that's it. Well, let me just let me go back into that. Uh, yeah, and this right here, this is what I. There was one game. I think it was um, like Test Drive or Need for Speed or something. I had to actually go into Advanced and make that the preferred device. Maybe I had a couple devices, and that's why. But if you do have a couple controllers and you want this to be the preferred device, the automatic one, then make sure that's selected and just select OK. Um, and we're going to go under test. Um, and as you can see, as I'm hitting these buttons, it's working. Um, as far as the numbers and the letters, I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's think A is 1. This is A. Okay, B is 2. X is 3, Y is 4, and this is the axis that I'm moving. This is the one to the right, and this is the deep head. Yeah, that's this is the top right button. Labeled RB, left B, and then the that's your triggers. Yeah, back is seven, and start is eight. So as you can see, it's 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 working for all those people that said it's not possible. And so now you know how to install it, install the driver, where to get the driver, how to install the controller, and to adjust the settings. Now the um, the wireless controller is the same way. You have to install um, the driver that comes with your adapter. That's so that Windows recognizes, your computer recognizes the adapter. And then you have to install the driver for the controller. Uh, doesn't matter which order you do that in, but I would recommend install the driver for your adapter, and then install the driver for your controller, which you or which you get off of Microsoft site, and then plug in the adapter first so that you compare the two um, together. Now I don't have uh, a wireless with me. Um, maybe later on I will make a video um, showing you how to do that. Um, and that I'll do with a, a video camera as I'm going to do later on showing people that still do not believe that this works. Actually having a video camera and uh, you know showing you that way. Now all the links are um, down below. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, don't hesitate um, to comment. Now, if you don't like the video or whatever, I really don't like negative comments, but to each their own. If you feel you have to, go right ahead. Um, and I think that's about covers it. If anybody runs into problems, don't hesitate to comment on the video um, so that we can post the, the answers where everybody else can see as well. Thank you for your time, and we appreciate any any likes that we get or any video shares, as this is something that a lot of people um, could use. Everybody have a great day, and enjoy playing with your computer or laptop with your Xbox controller.